भैरवकाल के नमोस्तुते ओम नमो भैरवाय नमो नमो ओम नमो भैरवाय स्वाहा हेलो भीम सो द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ टुडेज वीडियो इज द प्राइमरी डिफरेंस बिटवीन महाकाल एंड काला भैरवा हाउ आर दीज टू two very powerful entities originating within the universe of shiva how are they to be understood what is the what is that one major difference uh between them no oh, being i think my dogs have decided uh, to be part of video today after all it is about their guru they are the vahana kala bhairava Go. I'll I'll call you later. You sit down. Sit down, team. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. You sit down now. You sit down. You sit here. You sit here. Move. Are you move? <laughs> you sit down or you move? Sit down. Beam sit. Sit. Good boy. Beam sit. Yeah, yeah. You sit down over there. It's the right place. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Sit, sit. Sit down, Viva. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So the beam is a Raja Palim born with a half. Uh, you can see a uh, half moon under his eye. <laughs> his eye has a half moon, so that's why I call him uh, my gift from Bhairava. Okay, sit down. You need to sit down. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Sit, sit, sit. Come on. How do I take the video then? So, to understand uh, the primary, <laughs> come. Hmm. No. No. So. so understanding the primary difference between uh, mahakala and kala bhairava mahakala is complete latent uh, passive lying energy mass this is uh, shiva's complete energy lying latent it doesn't move mahakala it is the time itself that is why uh, mahakala is, is called the mahakaleshwar the complete uh, embodiment of time itself mahakala is the time so so uh, the only thing constant is mahakala we are the ones who's you know all this earth is rotating around this so there's a day there's a night and all that is for us mahakala is always constant now the only difference between say mahakala and kala bhairava is that mahakala is without the presence of a shakti his shakti is in within him he is complete embodiment of shiva he is he is the yogi that is stable sitting down unmoving with his eyes closed he is in deepest forms of meditation he doesn't move he doesn't look at anything anything he doesn't get distracted he is the complete embodiment of that whereas when you come to kala bhairava he is with the shakti so again we go back to the story of his origin why 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 is kala bhairava considered the peak form of gurus uh, the guru tattva within shiva is because kala bhairava is not just shiva he is also shakti he if this, if this is if this is kala bhairava he embodies in him the dasa mahavidyas so kala bhairava is not a single entity of shiva alone when the when he spouts out of shiva's third eye what pass essentially spouts out is shiva and shakti and the first mahavidya is kalika mahakali so the main difference between mahakal the, the one that is stable he doesn't move you could hit him you could try to move no he's unmovable you could you, to attain mahakal it would be 
it will not happen in a in a physical body you will not be in a physical body when you finally get a, a darshan of um, mahakal in his uh, parabrahma rupam you will not be in a physical body it cannot be envisioned neither can it be absorbed uh, by by the physical body so uh, so coming on to kala bhairava why is he such a powerful uh, probably the most powerful uh, form of uh, shiva is because kala bhairava embodies within him not just mahakala he also embodies shakti so that is what makes kala bhairava the most potent most potent uh, form of shiva imaginable because this is not just shiva this is shakti too that is why it is said that to move to the dasa mahavidyas if you if you ever want to successfully propitiate uh, mahakali tarama or or any of the dasa mahavidyas you have to have the full blessings of kala bhairava or mahakal either of the forms why kala bhairava because for him the shakti is within him he is one with his shakti he is one with his shakti so for him the shakti is within him so when you when you start the upasana of kala bhairava you are by default already into the path of shakti upasana it is not going to be outside you you will have an episode where you will be drawn towards shakti it will happen or if you are directly going to a shakti upasana and you are getting into the upasana of matara or um, uh, say mahakali you will definitely have an instance where you will be drawn towards kala bhairava because he is the is the is the main form of shiva that gives us the dasa mahavidyas the 10 mahavidyas so he is the one and out of uh, the 10 mahavidyas kalika she is the first so she embodies the rawest rawest form of adi shakti uh, 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 at that specific moment uh, where she gives her first ever darshan that is the rawest which is why not everybody can can successfully even now uh, envision uh, mahakali in her rawest digambara roopam because uh, she is too much she is too much for most of us to even digest which is why we look at the other dasam mahavidyas which have a little we you know who have a little bit of saumyata within them uh, because mahakali is completely raw you know when you dress her up and you try to project her you are actually essentially trying to uh, make it easier for you to digest that energy because she is the the most the most raw form of adi shakti the first spouting of adi shakti into a specific form is kalika so she is going to be raw Uh, she is not going to be dressed in jewels and uh, all sort of uh, beautiful ornaments sarees and all that where it, it is it is possible for uh, for the average human being to envision her no she is not like that she is completely raw that is why she is the first mahavidya so so this is how it goes mahakala the 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 uh, assume mahakala is like the biggest nuclear reactor on, on earth and full of energy this is the biggest nuclear reactor but the energy is within there is no energy coming out it is within it is contained within there is no moving kala bhairava when he spouts out of shiva's uh, third eye it is mahakala with shakti moving not latent it's moving anything with ha- which has shakti will move shakti will not lie latent shakti is spontaneous movement nothing one shakti is inside a human or an animal or anything in earth in creation in in the planets whatever it is that will move there is no more stable latent dull none of it no chance you it, you are moving so mahakala the guru who who is supposed to make uh, teach brahma on on the path of enlightenment will not cannot be a potential energy because brahma in spite of mahakala's presence he has obviously not understood what uh, enlightenment is yes yes he's clueless so you have to move you have to get down on the pitch and 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 show the path so when mahakala spouts out he is not alone he comes with the adi para shakti and that is kala bhairava so this is why kala bhairava supasana is considered to be uh, the most no when i say kala bhairava bhairava the, the universe of bhairava itself it's considered with shakti it is it is shiva and shakti in in bhairava upasana you cannot you cannot just say that i i will only pray 
I will only propitiate. I will only do the upasana of Bhairava. It is incomplete. It is not sufficient. You, if your if your Bhairava upasana is moving well, that she will come. She will come. And if if the form, you no, know, every Bhairava has a specific form of uh, Shakti. Uh, so if if your uh, Bhairava upasana is going really well, and if if you are successfully able to propitiate uh, Kala Bhairava, then Mahakali, Takshin Mahakali is definitely going to be all around you and you she will call you and her upasana um, uh, is of such potency because she is full of ugrata if bhairava is full about ugrata of of of, of uh, vidya you know bhairava, bhairava the guru uh, if he is full of knowledge kalika is full of full of absolute shakti there is uh, there is no softness here there is no tell me what you feel Tell me, let us let us go as per our path. No, she, once she starts, don't. She is like bombarding that uh, the upasaka head with all sorts of shakti. She is not latent. So, uh, so why is Bhairava considered? Uh, whereas Mahakala, the potential energy, unmoving, untouchable, unmovable, and Kala Bhairava, the the energy of Ka Mahakala that moves because he has shakti. Okay. And that is why he is considered the greatest guru because he not just exposes you to the sheer potential energy of Mahakala, he also he also embodies Shakti. He also takes you to Matara. He also takes you to Kalika. He, he takes you to every Devi Shakti within him. So that is why. So he is not just the guru of Brahma. Now you don't respect him only because he is the guru of Brahma and he is showing you the path of enlightenment where you become a stone. No. He also shows you what it is to own Shakti within you. What it is to realize the Shakti within you. That is what makes Kala Bhairava probably the most powerful combination of Shiva and Shakti. It is not just Shiva. It is Shiva and Shakti within a single deity. So that is uh, where we begin to understand Kala Bhairava and Mahakala. So Mahakala, the great potential energy. Kala Bhairava, the potential energy meets Shakti, Adi Shakti, and it moves. He is going to enter your head and tell you things. Because he is not latent and potential energy waiting for you to realize, go out of your body and then understand things. No, you are alive today, you live as Bhairava, you move as Bhairava, you think as Bhairava, you attain the mind of Bhairava. And she is, he, she is with him, you know, Shakti is with him. So, you will be like on fire all the time. Your brain, your mind, your body, everything is calm all the time. You do not get disturbed with the, the, the worldly things. That is how Bhairava makes you. He makes you like a stone that also reacts because there is Shakti within. So I believe that is that should sum up the basic uh, differentiation between Mahakala and Mahakala Bhairava. It is just the difference is just Shakti. That is it. Shakti is within Mahakala. It is Kala Bhairava. Shakti is outside and Mahakala that is Sadashiva. Shiva's Rupam is alone, sitting alone. In deepest forms of meditation is Mahakala. That's it. So that is why uh, even if you move to Shakti Upasana without touching on to Bhairava at all, you will find yourself you hit a, hit a block. Because Bhairava Vasamahavityas. He encompasses it within him. It's all in him. So he is the guru whose blessing you need. Every form of Shakti has a Bhairava. Because he has to stabilize your energy. He has to stabilize your core. And he is the one who will take you to Shakti. If you find uh, the content that I have been uh, putting out useful, do drop a comment and let me know. Because um, there are a lot of videos on Bhairava. There are a lot of videos on uh, uh, all these subjects and uh, if you find anything unique in what I've been putting out just let me know and uh, anything that you want me to talk on just put it in the comments I will do my best so uh, that's it for today uh, just understand the lead, basic difference between Mahakala and Kala Bhairava same energy with Shakti without Shakti, Shakti inside Kala Bhairava Shakti outside energy sitting latent in, in in a ball, in a in a yogic state, stands wherein he doesn't move Mahakala. 
the great time. Time doesn't move for anybody because time is just constant. We move around time. That is Mahakala. When Mahakala gets up and moves with Shakti, Kala Bhairava. And you know who he is. So just imagine for a second. You need to really, really think of this for a second. Uh, when, when, when Shiva decides to teach Brahma a lesson, uh, Mahakala and Adi Shakti together for, to spout out in the form of Bhairava and with the fingernail of his little finger he cuts off the head of Brahma. Just imagine for a second if he had used the entire finger, not just the fingernail and hit Brahma, what would have happened? If he had used the entire palm and hit Brahma, what would have happened? Or better yet, for a second, for a second imagine if he had used the entire arm and hit Brahma, what would have happened? Or let's go even higher. If he had used his entire body, taken a feet, squashed Brahma, what would have happened? Because the entire universe is the size of Brahma's eyeball. If the entire universe is the size of Brahma's eyeball, and if Bhairava had, you know, the embodiment of Mahakala and Adi Shakti had just squashed him, we were finished. So look at uh, Bhairava's, uh, you know, that, 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 that warmth within uh, Shiva. You know, the, the, he's the destroyer, but you know, he doesn't destroy he, because you know, he loves everybody. He loves, that is his bhole, you know, even, even to the most silly uh, creator God, he says, look, I can destroy you, but I won't. I am still your guru and you're still my student. You need to understand the warmth within uh, Bhairava. That is why he's so warm. Now, when you, as, as you go closer to the form of Kala Bhairava, you realize that, you uh, uh, this, this deity forget, forgives a lot of mistakes that we make when we make it with the, with the right heart. Uh, you need not f uh, be afraid of this deity. You know, he's, he's so full of love. He is still Bholenath at the end. He still has it and he also has the mother within him. So he is double. He's, he's two. Uh, so uh, don't be afraid to propitiate Bhairava at home. Uh, don't go by people who say that you should not propitiate Bhairava at home. Yeah, ultimately at a stage, he might take you out of your home and he will take you wherever he wants you to. Once you, you have the joining, you know, your mind's joined and the deity takes a hold of your uh, third eye and he sort of grows into you as a tree. He will take a hold of you, but this is the most beautiful uh, uh, Guru Tattva within Shiva. He's the kindest, so just go for it. Uh, don't have any fear when calling out to Bhairava. Any specific uh, subjects that you uh, want to talk on Bhairava, please put it down in the comments and uh, let me know. Bhairava Kalike Namo Stute Om Namo Bhairava Namo Namo Om Namo Bhairava Swaha Jai Bhairava Baba